This is Dr. Tom Haddock's book, Thomas Haddock, A Collector's Guide to Personal Computers and Pocket Calculators. This book has become, over the last 19 years, a real collector's item itself. So for those computer buffs out there use this, this is getting to be a very expensive book. I looked online and found that the new copies are running about $175 and they use them about $75. So here's the whole book. And the book itself is uh, a book that uh, Dr. Haddock wrote giving a description of computers and uh, his value, estimated value. At the time Dr. Haddock wrote this book, he gathered together many photos and computers and he put together a collector's guide to computers. Here's the Rust and Recomp computer. And you see an estimated value for it here. This is typical of the entries. And I'm certainly pleased to have this book because it has Dr. Haddock's signature when I got the book in July 18th of 03. This is Tom Haddock's collection before we loaded on our truck with him taking a picture of it. Here's Tom on the right and myself on the left. And we uh, loaded it on a truck like this for the 300 mile trip uh, between his place and our place. And piece by piece we loaded it, pulling it up from the basement, loading it on the truck. Here's Tom describing his favorite collectible, the Byte 8 microcomputer. And you can see a video of this computer on our channel here. Well, here's Tom's collection, fully loaded on the truck, ready to transport to Floyd, Virginia. Here's a very interesting piece of ferrite core read-write memory module stack that could be wired into a very nice demonstration system. Here's a look inside the module with the read-write <coughs> sense wires and you see the whole stack here. Try to get a view of the cores. You can actually see if you look very carefully you can see the read white wires and the sense wires going through the little ferrite cores. These are fairly large cores. But you see the sense wires, the read wires, and the write wires going through the core stack here. Very beautiful little demonstration module. The Thomas Haddock historical microcomputer collection it was donated to the LCF group in July of 2003 for safekeeping by Thomas Haddock. And a very interesting thing about his book, Collector's Guide to Collecting Personal Computers and Calculators. It in itself is fairly rare at this point and has become a real pleasure. I'm certainly pleased to have several copies all signed by Dr. Haddock himself, so they should be even more collectible. We're certainly glad to have those and all these computers you see here. Uh, really, most of the computers don't show, but you see the Macintosh and the carrying case, uh, Helos, uh, the early IBM PCs, XTs, ATs, Pet Commodore, Apple IIs, the Apple the Black Apple II, the Soul Terminal, and uh, IBM Juniors, and really a lot of really wonderful things back in there. And up here is a pretty neat device. This is what converted an IBM typewriter into a printing device and also an input device. When you press this key, these little, these little things sticking out here were activated by the keys on an IBM typewriter and it made it an I.O. device before there were very many other I.O. devices available. It was the first attempt to uh, have a good printing printer. Thomas Haddock donated his collection to the LCF group here in July of, 19, of 2003 and uh, we have the collection here in storage 
an environmentally controlled building. Hi, this is Gaynell Larson of the LCF Group. Thank you for watching our little video.